All right, here we go. First thing, you need to get all your supplies together. I have my scalefinishes.com enamel reducer, which is my preferred medium for mixing. I also use Rust-Oleum medium temperature lacquer thinner available at Walmart. I think I paid about five bucks for this, maybe six and some change, not a whole lot. Airbrush bottle, standard airbrush bottle. Mixing pipette, bam. Not a whole lot there. All right, I have my medium here. It's gonna be some Sinful Colors Professional Nail Polish in the shade of Savage. I paid $1.99 for each one of these bottles at Walgreens. Not a bad price. Okay, the reason why I picked this color, the subject in question is gonna be this 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. Beautiful vehicle, I feel it must be recreated in plastic. I have my ideal wall over here, and I have plenty of shots of it. Yes, I'm going to try to recreate that hydraulic setup. Okay, more detailed shots. Also, a future upcoming project. Oh my god, we've seen that one before. Okay, yeah. Okay, we pour. Let's stop right here. Okay, there's that. Put the lid back on the bottle. We don't want to waste it because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need for the project. You can see about where it is right now. It's about halfway through the tape line. So my next step, I'm going to use my scalefinishes.com enamel reducer. Jameson Kroon does a hell of a job with the products he provides. The reason I'm going to use my enamel reducer is because it dries a lot smoother and with a lot more gloss. Okay, take the cap off. Take your pipette. You, these are cheap. Okay, we'll stop right there. Well, roughly 50-50, give or take a few percent. I don't have it down to an exact science. I just know how to do what works for me. Okay, take a mixing. Okay, we're ready to get ready to start spraying. Never, ever paint anything unless you have a respirator. These have cartridges that really need to be replaced, but I've got a little bit of time on them. Ever. Do not use this stuff without a gloves. You don't want to get any of this crap on your fingers. Do not use anything. Do not use any of this stuff without gloves, please. Okay, my weapon of choice is a Pache number H. with the number five tip. Just lay it on this glass right here. Here. Screw it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Boom. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, get our air pressure set on our compressor. Let's see. We're going to try just under 25 PSI. Okay. This is my compressor setup, by the way. Campbell Hausfeld, two gallon tank, 120 volts, 100 PSI max pressure. Got it from Walmart. Came with the hose, air trap necessary. Moisture trap, I mean. Okay. Okay, test the pressure, boom, 
Oh. See how easy that is? I'm going with a nice thin coat. I'm satisfied with the way this is going. You always want to make sure you watch the paint go on. We're satisfied with this, and that concludes my tutorial. And we have the end result. Still a whole lot more to go, but you get the general idea. Thank you for tuning in, and have a great day. If you got any questions, just ask. That's what I'm here for.